Certainly there are challenges to riding a bike in the winter. It's dark, uh, the roads can be a little narrower, they can be slippery. But uh, by doing things like making sure that you're visible, riding defensively, and um, choosing a route that suits your riding style and ability, you can, you can manage some of those uh, challenges and make it safe and fun. It's usually not too cold to ride in the winter. It's kind of a, a surprising thing that actually one of the hardest things is not overdressing. Uh, if you wear layers and cover up uh, exposed skin so that you deal with the wind, it's actually pretty easy to build up lots of heat and be quite comfortable because it's dark and often sight lines aren't quite as good as they are in the summer because there's more snow banks, for instance. It's really important to make sure that you're visible. So uh, lights, front and rear, maybe some extra reflective material uh, on your body, like a reflective vest, reflectors on your bike are a good call. And some people like to use studded tires. It kind of depends on where you ride, but um, if you're on a lot of uh, streets where you're sharing Sharing it with cars, um, studded tires can give you confidence and uh, help with added traction when it gets icy. Yeah, and any bike will do. Uh, something that has uh, um, room for fenders on it might be good. And generally there's a preference for a little bit wider tire just to have a little more grip. But uh, it really depends on your route. Lots of people that um, stay on bigger streets that get cleared right down to pavement um, will ride the same bike year-round even if it has skinnier tires on it. Consider maybe adapting your route if you want to stick to streets that are a little um, uh, that have been plowed more recently or things like that you might be on some bigger streets or um, maybe prefer to stay on quieter streets so uh, uh, you might be looking at slightly different road conditions on those streets. Well, I'm really fortunate that I have a route uh, choice available to me that includes some separated bike routes, so some some paths um, and uh, some bike lanes, I guess that are uh, that are striped. But uh, it's a mix of uh, dedicated active transportation routes and quiet side streets. One thing that's different in the winter is that a lot of the roads are narrower. Uh, you, lose a couple of feet on the, in the curb lane, um, or there's snow drifts that project into the street a little bit. Yeah, so just, just like roads change uh, through, the, through the winter season, bike lanes and routes change too. One of the changes is that the lines on the road disappear in the winter uh, often, and that includes a lot of the markings for, for bike lanes. So, for example, some of the downtown routes just uh, what was uh, a traffic lane beside a, a bike lane that was separated by a line just become, becomes one sort of ambiguous space. Um, the best parts of my route are the, the separated parts where I'm not riding with traffic. Sometimes they're not quite as direct, but um, at any time of year, but especially in the winter, it's nice to have a little bit of space between, uh, <laughs> or I like to have a little bit of space between me and motor vehicle traffic. In the future, uh, more of these kind of options would make winter cycling a, a practical and safe option for, for even more people. I also get to uh, ride across the, the Southwood lands and get a little bit of uh, a nature fix on my way into work every morning. Another safety tip would be to talk to people that actually do some winter cycling. Uh, if you ask around, you might be able to find somebody in your neighborhood or uh, a classmate that is willing to uh, show you the ropes. And at the University of Manitoba, we've got uh, Umreg's Bike Dungeon, basement of Helen Glass, and also Umbike, um, a student bike group. And they're full of enthusiastic people, those groups who can help you with uh, advice, tips, route planning. 